How's it going, Froze? Welcome to the latest video, and today I'm extremely excited to announce the release of the brand new Russia map, which is four times larger than all of the other game maps which Nelson has actually made. Now, this map was actually made by a team of people, and it is very good, so I decided to make a map loot guide on this map. Now, how this works is pretty much I went around the map and reloaded the loot two times and took note of everything that spawned. So I actually tried going in into the game files and seeing if I could find the IDs and going into the editor, but I could not find the IDs. So I did it this way by responding the loot twice and writing down everything that spawned. And this will be it. I will also be releasing a top three locations to get loot and also show you guys everything you need to know to find the best loot on the map. Enjoy. I wanted to start off this video by saying that you can find everything that I say down in the description below, including all of the names of the towns and locations, along with all of the loot that I found when I respawned the loot two times. I also wanted to start off by going over the farms and the camps, as those are the locations where the less important loot spawns. The way I actually wrote down the loot that spawns is by importance, which is the sort of things I look out for when I am playing unturned. So I didn't really write down baseball bats spawn here, and cloth spawns here, I made a more generalized approach, as you are going to see very soon. So, the farm spawn chainsaws, master keys, crossbows, compound bows, farming equipment, civilian ammo, chemicals, hawkhound, a scold field, and a sport shot. Those are the items that I found after going to all of the four farms. If we move on to the camps, there are three camps. There's Camp Kazan, Samara, and Alexander. The items that I found over there are the sport shot, more fishing gear, an axe, and a saw, Skullfield, Master Key, a Canteen, Binoculars, Crossbow, Compound Bow, and a Hawkhound. Now I'd like to showcase the locations in Russia where you would go if you had in your mind, I need to go find some resources, I need to get some metal, those sort of places. Now we start off, our first place is Karyev. Karyev is a mine and also a processing plant for ores, so it is the perfect place to find lots of building materials such as a work light, tools like a shovel, pickaxe and saw, metal or rocks which are a resource so you can mine them, a headlamp, glues and bricks, gas can, a blowtorch, even a detonator which is used to mine in many big mines, and there is also a mini police spawn point which you can pick up a Kreisgreg and some more civilian ammo. The Verkuta Junction is a simple place in the map where trains are repaired. This means that there will be a lot of spawns for blowtorches, carjacks, metal scraps, and a lot of those other tools. Water and gas reserves are also there, so it is a useful place if you want to fill up your car while on the road. Otherwise, it is a pretty useless place and is pretty scarce in resources. Finally, for our last intensive resource location, we have Kivgrad Harbor. Kivgrad Harbor spawns bricks, glue, metal materials, tools such as a pickaxe and a saw, and melee weapons, along with a nail gun. Again, I believe that the most useful one out of all these three resource locations is actually Karyev, because it spawns stuff like a work light and it also has Kreisgreg and civilian ammo because of the little police outpost next to it. Before we move on to the military locations, which I'm sure is the reason why you're all here, I'd like to go over the three small towns that are in the Russia map. Firstly, we got Novobersk, which has obviously the basic city loot, it also has some civilian resources, and a key location is a pharmacy. Next up, we have Yekaterburg, which has, of course, the regular town loot, and it also has a police station. Finally, we got Yavik, which obviously has all of the regular loot you would expect to find in a city, but it also has a grocer and a police station, which is important for food and water and to get your basic weapons. Before going any further into any biohazard location, it is important to stop at a fire station or at the firewatch base and grab a gas mask. Now the fire stations and the firewatch base actually spawn, you know, your basic fireman equipment such as axes and helmets, but it also spawns the gas masks which are essential for exploring those military biohazard locations. So go there and grab one. Also, as you guys can probably notice, it is the official tower from the game Firewatch and it looks amazing. Congratulations to whoever made it. 
Now that we have equipped our gas mask, the first location, which is a dead zone or biohazard location, whatever you want to call it, is going to be the oil rig. Now it is it is off the map and it is in the southwest corner. So if you guys can swim over there or fly with a helicopter, you will find the oil rig. And there is quite a bit of dead zone, so you have to be wearing the mask and you have to go fast. And here's what I found. I found a Zubekinov, a Teklovka, Sniperska, a Yuri, a Fuselot, an Ogwer, a Nikarev, a detonator with explosives, and some other basic military gear that you would expect to find at a military base. Overall, it was some very good loot. One of my favorite places in the entire map is Krovi Estate. Krovi Estate is a beautiful and large mansion which is owned by the Mafia, and it is full of Mafia zombies ready to tear you apart. The spawns that I found on this map was a Mafia suit, a calling card, more melee weapons, an ace, and a paintball gun. This is the only place on the map where you will be able to find the secondary weapon with 71 bullets in the drum, the calling card. So if you want it, you gotta go to the mansion and get it. Now for our final civilian location in this guide, we have Sheryavo International Airport. This airport spawns Vanyas, Kreisgerak, melee weapons, mechanic tools, spotlights, civilian ammo, and low caliber military ammo. Now this is especially good because it is the only place on the map where I found the Vanya. I'm sure it spawns in other places, but the spawn rate is definitely higher in the airport. On the northeast of the map, we can find a secret bunker location, which is also a dead zone, so you do need a gas mask that we picked up earlier at the fire watch station. So, I adventured inside the bunker, and I find the following things. I found some basic militia gear, a viper, a cobra, katanas and machetes, desert falcon, time 16 scope, cough syrup, a rocket launcher, chemicals, a dragon fang, peacemaker, eagle fire, and a saber tooth. Here we have Volk military base, the only military base in the entire Russia map, and of course makes sense, the largest military loot spawn location. Now at Volk military base I found detonators and explosives, a Tekalovka, a Sniperska, basic military gear, basic building materials, chemicals, a bulldog, a Yuri, a Zubeknikov, and a Steely Wheelie Automobile. I am sure higher tier weapons and more weapons actually spawn in this base, but because I only reloaded the loot two times, they haven't spawned. Same goes with the rest of the locations. Slightly southeast of Volk military base we have Zavod, the Russian tank factory. At Zavod, there are a variety of different spawns, such as work light, sniperska, building materials, Zubekinov, ranger ammo, explosives, basic military gear, a bulldog, and a Yuri. The site probably spawns tanks as well, but I have reloaded it a couple of times and I haven't found any. Finally, we have arrived to the most biohazard, the most secret, and the most anticipated room of all, Silo 22. Silo 22 is a top secret facility where there's all kind of stuff going on. There's zombies, there's rockets, and there's tank spawns, and it's just really great for any high tier loot. Here's what I found. Basic military gear, a Teklovka, a detonator and explosives, a sniperskia, night vision goggles, a sticky grenade, a Hell's Fury, a Fusilot, a Bulldog, and an Ogwer. This means, since the Hell's Fury actually spawned there, it means that all of the other high tier weapons also spawn at Silo 22, such as the Night Raider. The Russia map has two large cities, Moscow and St. Petersburg. Right now we are in Moscow. As you could probably expect, it spawns all of the common loot that any city would spawn, but there are a few key locations. There's a police station where you can pick up a Kreisgerak and Vanya, there's a fire station where you can pick up a gas mask, there's a hospital where you can pick up some meds, and there's some military tents where you can find a Bulldog, a Teklovka, a Yuri, Sniperska, and probably other military weapons. St. Petersburg is located west of Moscow, and it doesn't really have any interesting loot. 
except from its regular town loot, but it does have a few key locations, such as a gas station, a pharmacy and a practitioner, which means a lot of meds, a fire station where you can get a gas mask, and a grocer for food. But more interestingly, what St. Petersburg has that Moscow does not have is a special underground bunker, which you can only go into if you have a flashlight or night vision goggles, because of the new update, you can now make a node which makes it dark so you cannot see inside of that bunker. What I found inside the bunker were metal materials, tools, a Zubekinov, Sniperska, Teklovka, explosives, and a generator and work light. Well guys, that was it for the Russian map loot guide. If this helped you or you think it could help a friend, please share it and leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. And that is it for today. If you have any tips for other players on Russia, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And see you guys in the next video. Peace!